Hi, I'm Betty from Boudoir Betty. Uh, this is the first time I've gone live on YouTube. So um, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what do I wear to a boudoir session? It's one of my frequently asked questions. Um, I also hear women say, I don't wear lingerie, what the heck do I wear? Um, and of course, the other question that I get is, do you provide wardrobe? So to first answer the question, um, do I provide wardrobe? Uh, yes and no. I mostly tell clients to bring your own wardrobe simply because you're gonna feel more com confident and comfortable in something that you know looks good on you and that you like. So um, I urge you to bring your own wardrobe, um, but the good thing is, is I offer unlimited outfits. So you're not limited to just one outfit, you know, you can really have fun with it. Um, but I do have some stuff at the studio that I, t that, you know, that I keep on hand that I feel like um, is universally flattering to everybody. Sort of, you know, so in case you forget something or if I need to supplement an, out uh, an outfit, um, then I do have stuff on hand. So, um, but to start with, I always, I think the best way to answer the question is, is who are you doing the shoot for? Are you doing it for yourself or your significant other? A lot of times the answer, answer is a little bit of both. So, but to that end, um, it's gonna kind of give you some direction about um, what you're gonna wear. So I always say to sort of pick a theme or um, pick an interest, you know, to sort of incorporate into your session. So with that in mind, uh, I like, or as an example, I should say, I had, I've had one client who wanted to incorporate cooking into her session. So she brought her favorite cookbook and her apron. And we actually did some uh, topless shots with her wearing the apron. So that kind of gives you an, an example of how to incorporate um, an interest into your session. Um, with significant others, uh, a lot of times I see a lot of football jerseys, but um, like video games, a lot of guys are into video games, so you might bring in a video game controller and wear like a tank top and some cute panties, um, maybe some knee-high socks. Um, so I mean, you can really, really have fun with it. Um, the nice thing about doing a boudoir session is it kind of gives you a little bit of a chance to role play. So if you don't feel entirely comfortable in your own your own skin, you can almost literally find a costume, especially with Fredericks of Hollywood um, and the upcoming uh, Halloween holiday coming up. They have a lot of good stuff. So, I mean, like I said, you can have fun with it. You can wear a cat suit, do Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, if you're more of a tomboy, you don't have to wear lingerie. Uh, you can, you know, like I said, you can wear the tank top and the undies, do a white button down shirt. You can bring an evening gown if you feel comfortable in an evening gown. It doesn't have to be lingerie. Um, what else? Uh, a loose sweater and some knee high socks. Uh, you can wear a satin robe. So, I mean, there's all different kinds of ideas. You do not have to wear lingerie. It's really just about your personality because as I say, lingerie is a little bit like clothing in that it really reflects who you are. So you can go, you know, maybe you're a little bit feminine some days and you're a little bit edgy some days. Maybe you'll wear, you know, a bring a motorcycle jacket and wear it over a cute spike bra um, or wear the lacy teddy. So um, you have options. What else? Uh, let me refer to my list here. If I can keep myself on track. <laughs> I made a list of stuff that I wanted to cover. Um, you can also go nude. I mean, you don't you don't have to wear anything if you don't want to. So I mean, we can do like a white sheet session. I had a lady. We did a, a session on Chase Lounge with a sheer piece of fabric, and the photos were gorgeous. We can do body scapes or nude scapes as they're called. Uh, those are typically shot nude on a black background. And basically what it is, is I use light and shadow to um, you know, show, show certain parts of the body and um, hide other parts. So, I mean, you don't have to, if you're really stressed about it, you can wear nothing. <laughs> um, and I think the only other thing I wanted to cover is kind of like what lingerie works best on um, most people. So for most people, I find that corsets generally look good on nearly every single body. Um, doesn't matter what size you are, from size two to 24. We all want that hourglass shape. So a corset is gonna, is gonna help get you that. And I always recommend a steel bone cor corset. Um, I really don't like the ones with just the plastic tubing from 
and I love Fredericks, but I don't love their corsets um, because they're not real corsets. They, you know, they bend out of shape and the plastic tubing, what happens is you just sit down and then the whole thing gets like bent and you can't bend it back into shape and then it makes you look like you have a belly where you don't have one. So a steel bone corset, you're gonna avoid that. Um, you can find a lot of them on Amazon or eBay if you, know, if you have time to go shopping online. Um, but a corset, you know, it lifts the girls and it slims the waist and it gives everybody the hourglass shape that we all know and love. The only problem is, is they, they do restrict your movement somewhat, so, but since I offer unlimited outfits, that's really a non-issue. Um, and then bodysuits. Bodysuits look, for some reason, I don't know why, but they look great on pretty much everybody. Um, so I, I do have ladies, um, I do suggest those. And um, you can always bring a robe to, you know, like I said, to drape and hide if you're feeling a little bit shy, you know, maybe, maybe more conservative. But um, you can find out more on my website at boudoirbettyfl.com. Thanks for watching.